Grade 8 math number 8.4a, we are now going to be doing the elimination method. So, this is solving by multiplying and adding. In some linear systems, neither variable can be eliminated by adding or subtracting, like we did in the last couple of videos. So what we do is we multiply one of the equations by a constant. So adding or subtracting will eliminate a variable. When equations don't have the same or opposite coefficient, you know, so we can't make a zero pair for one of the variables, then one or both must be multiplied by a constant to create that same or opposite coefficient. Now watch, it says here, one or both must be multiplied. See that? So it's not just one. You might have to multiply both equations by something, okay, by a constant. Coefficients that are multiples of each other are the best to eliminate first. So every term in the equation is multiplied by that constant to raise the entire equation by that amount, okay? So let's do a little review here. That's a constant number, okay? It stays the same, all right? These are variable terms because they have a variable in them, and this number in front of the variable, these are the coefficients. Remember? The coefficient is the number in front of the variable, okay? So, these are the variable terms. We need to multiply every single term by a constant number. So, we've got 2x plus 10y equals 2, and 3x minus 5y equals negative 17. Now, we need to get one of these variables eliminated. So the best thing to do is we can eliminate this term if we multiply this equation by 2 because that's going to raise this 5 to a 10. Then we'll have a zero pair, won't we? So that's what we do. We multiply each term by 2 to raise the entire equation up by 2. All right? We leave this one alone. So 3x times 2 is 6x. Negative 5y times 2 is negative 10y. Negative 17 times 2 is negative 34. Now we can use addition to eliminate this variable, this y, because it's going to be the same as the 10y in the other one. See? So, stack the equations neatly to line up the terms, and now you can see this is going to make a zero pair, isn't it? We'll be able to eliminate this y See that? So now we add these, and we get 8x equals negative 32. We divide both sides by 8 to isolate that x, and negative 32 divided by 8 is a negative 4. You know, this created our friend the invisible 1, didn't it? So we've got a negative 4 for x, and we substitute that negative 4 as x into one of the original equations, and I chose the top one, just it didn't matter which one. So now I've got 2 times negative 4 instead of 2 times x, see? So 2 times negative 4 is a negative 8. Now we have negative 8 plus 10y equals 2. We add 8 to each side because that's a negative, so we add to create the zero pair. We eliminate that 8, we add 8 to this side, we get 10, 10y equals 10, divide both sides by 10 to get that y, right, by itself, that's using the properties of equality, those inverse operations, to isolate the y, we make our friend the invisible 1 again, so we have 1y equals 1, because 10 over 10 equals 1, see? Our solution set is negative 4, 1. So every single term needs to be multiplied by that constant number and brought up so that you can create a zero pair. See? All right. We're going to move on to the next video. I'm going to continue talking about the elimination method, and we're going to talk about multipl multiplying and subtracting. This was multiplying and adding. We're going to do this with multiplication and subtraction in the next video. Okay? I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you there. Bye.